Hello everybody, Wildtracker here, and welcome back to another episode on the Wildcraft server. Yes, we're back on uh, Wildcraft. Uh, been quite busy with a few other projects recently, um, but I thought I'd get back on here because uh, we've got a few things to do. As you can see, our base here in the sky is half finished. Um, the bit behind me there is where we've got the sugarcane farm, and as you know, we've already done that part of it. Um, but I've been busy. And if we look over here, we've done another part of it. So uh, we're halfway on uh, building this now. So uh, before it came up over that direction there and stopped, went all the way around to there and obviously stopped. And now we've done this side as well. Um, so that's looking pretty good now. So it's all starting to come together. Um, let's just go over there now and show you that. So, um, yeah, still got a few things to do because, um, yeah, it's by no means finished on the inside. I've just started putting these platforms on here, uh, really, so I've got a way up and down. So I've mirrored exactly the same as we've got on the other side. And what I need to do now is uh, just really get this finished. If we look over this side, we kind of mirrored these steps coming down this platform area and we've kind of done it there as well. So uh, that's what we need to do over the other side. We'll have to move the enchanting table because that's not its final home. That was just a temporary home. And uh, once we've got that moved as well, we're just going to continue this floor all the way along and we'll continue into this section. And then we'll also uh, build the upper section as well as we did over there and get this portal moved up. Uh, and then that's in a better position. And then we've only got the other half to go. So, um, yeah, still a fair bit of work. Problem I've got at the moment is actually uh, this stuff on the floor, the uh, andesite. Uh, I've got some, uh, but not in there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five stacks, and that is not going to be enough. So I need to do a lot more mining, a lot more um, on that side of things. So, uh, yeah, but don't worry, I'm not going to be doing that on video. That's uh, all going to be in between episodes. So uh, I've got a load of dirt because um, I've just been over to Guardian Farm, pick some up over there because this section really needs to be uh, all dirt uh, like that so the grass can grow. But we also need to um, get that wood. I think it was in the chest down here. So let's do that quickly. Where's the chest? And the chest are there. Need to get my chest sorted out. So that's another project we need to start working on is, um, yeah, it's not in there. Where did I put it? I know where I put it. Put it in my ender chest when I was over at the Guardian farm to give me some more room. So we'll take that out there. Get rid of some of this dirt over here. Yeah, so I think we need to start looking at the storage situation and get the nether sorted out as well because the nether is where I want to store most of my things. But um, to do that, I need to really sort of make the area, finish the area there. Uh, and also we need to sort out the central portal as well because the central portal doesn't really work. It works to come back up from uh, down below there but it doesn't really work the other way around. So we need to lower that uh, at some point. So that's something else we need to do as well. So we've got quite a few little jobs that need doing. And um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is really just carry on getting this um, floor laid in here. So it makes it a workable area because there's a few things I want to set up in here as well. And I can't do that for Toffee. That's uh, very annoying. <laughs> There we go. Okay. I'm going to get on with this, guys. And then, uh, yeah, when we start on something else, uh, we'll see you in a second doing that. Definitely not what we want. Um, that's definitely a better tree than that one. So I'll have another go in a minute getting a bigger tree. But, uh, yeah, we kind of finished this uh, top area here. And we've got this area kind of boarded up. But we've run out of wood. So, which is a, a bit of a shame. So we've run out of wood there, but this one, uh, it starts to look really good now. Now I've got this um, all done up and we've got our little way down there. We'll probably put a door on into the outside world. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, not sure whether that's going to stay there. 
I think on the other side we've got them over on this side. It depends where we're going to put things as well. I want to kind of make this into a work area. I want to put a library somewhere. And I was wondering, do I put my library at the bottom so we can overlook a balcony into the library? I think that might be quite good to have it there uh, if it's wide enough. And so we might play around with that one a bit. But for now, I need to get some more pine. So I'm going to get some... Uh, bits and pieces, some trees, some more bone meal and then we can uh, get going. Hopefully I've got some in here. Plant and die. That'll be where it is if it's in here. So uh, yeah, I think I'll get heading off with that. So the floor's done, it took me less wood than I thought actually, so it was only uh, three trees worth of uh, these um, slabs, and it was done, so uh, that's pretty good. And I'm just getting the rest of this upper area done now, so we've kind of done it all the way up to the portal. Um, and the way I do this is simply, the floor is going to be this level, this is where the floors are going to be. And so this is going to be some kind of block, and I'm thinking the mesa biome for this one. Um, so I'm putting this floor down on this level, and I know that the stairs goes down on the second lot of three. So we've got one, two, three here, another one, two, three here, and I then have this standard pattern, which it comes out five, comes out five that way, and five that way. And the stairs effectively will go here. So we just come down half a block each time um, and the first ones come down on both sides I believe and go all the way around and then after that they just become stairs uh, but I dare say I'll be running backwards and forwards and double checking the pattern with that one in fact I can probably just zoom over there and have a look so uh, yeah that's what we're going to be mirroring is uh, that kind of pattern there that doesn't look right there what have I done something wrong there I'll have a look at that in a moment. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll get this floor laid and then we'll go and get some clay and I think we'll um, have a look at fitting a floor down. And I was thinking, do I just do it as just one standard clay or do I do it as multiple colours? So we'll uh, have a little think about that and see which way I want to go with it. Well, that's not too bad. Um... I went for the clay at first and I thought, well actually, why don't I put the rest in just as if it was layers of the mesa biome. So uh, the colours aren't exactly matched, some of these are in the wrong order and that sort of thing, but I wasn't too worried about that, I just wanted to get all the colours in. And you may notice we've got one different colour in there, so I thought, just for a bit of variety, it's not a natural forming uh, clay in the mesa biome, but um, it, I think it works. Need to spruce it up a little bit, need to go and get some uh, dead twigs and things like that that you find in there. And I may actually, you know, heap up a couple of uh, blocks as well to add some uh, depth to this because obviously, you know, there's, there's not a lot of things. We don't have um, other things we can put in here. So I think I might just just do a few piles of this so you know I might do some red coming out there and a little bit of yellow coming out there sort of thing raise it up a bit so um, yeah still got that to do portal set up uh, I've decided as well I'm going to put an ender chest next to each portal because um, I think people will find that handy if they're up here and I certainly will anyway I've been wanting to sort of delve into those so I've been working on the library a little bit as well, so uh, let's go and have a look at that. So the library itself we're going to put down here, and I need to work out a place um, to put the enchanting table, and then everything else is going to go around it. Um, so if we have things coming out, it's got to be at least yeah a couple away kind of thing, um, so we can get the full effect. Although we might just not do a traditional square one, but might do something going up the walls in which case you know you could sort of place it there or something like that um which might not be too bad if we then sort of start taking bookcases and the thing with this is you can it's not just about the bookcases there these ones affect it as well so um yeah so i think you know we might do something like that pile them up and see if we can't get this 
up to level 30. So I'll have a play around with that, but I want to show you this. Uh, and let me know what you think on this one, so leave a comment down below. I've tried to incorporate, because we've got a library here, I kind of thought, well, the other thing I want to do is store enchanted books. And the other thing I want to do is is get my sort of potion brewing up and running and store those. So, um, yeah, that, that was something I wanted to sort of work on. And then I thought what would be really cool was actually to store, have an archive and store things like these are my... Uh, uh, skulls that I had down the other side and I thought they'd look pretty cool if I just stored them on uh, effectively shelves in an archive so that's what I've done I've created this sort of archive we've got our ladders to go up and get stuff and you know that kind of thing uh, but I haven't quite decided which way around I want it I initially started off actually like this which is I, I just use these um, slabs as shells and put the things on it and then I thought well actually what would it look like to use upside down steps uh, and that's not too bad and then what would it look like to have the upside down steps on the bottom and the slabs at the top so I'd love to know what you think guys um, my personal preference is still looking a bit like this just looks more like an archive shelf to me rather than having that bit coming down but then that's more like a library shelf. So let me know what you think. Um, and also, I've not put anything behind it. Um, so I guess the alternative would be put something behind it. But then I think we lose space then. That's the thing. I want to... I can put another shelf there and another shelf there. So, yeah, I kind of... I don't want to lose the space if I, you know, if I can help it. This is the other thing that I was looking at as well is storage of books and potions. So do I go for a storage shelf like that, which means I can get more chests in, or do I keep the theme um, like that and just literally have a chest so you're only getting two chests in effectively? And I guess we would probably top that off um, somewhere like that as well. Um, yeah, so let me know your thoughts on that one as well. That, that I'd like, um, you know, let me know what you think. Um, again, you know, that's nice for lots of storage. I kind of like the look of that. One alternative is to have it like this on this central run through. This is like the main walkway through. And then perhaps on these back ones, have them more like this. So um, let me know what you think on that. I'm going to get these uh, all finished up in terms of the pillars. Um, and then we'll probably get the rest done in the next episode and I don't think I've got anything to enchant or can I enchant that? Will that enchant or can I only apply? I don't know. We'll, we'll have a look anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back and um, show you when I've uh, got this little library working hopefully. So I'm pretty happy how that's turned out. I think uh, it looks quite good. Yes, we've not used uh, the most efficient way of using bookshelves. Um, I reckon I've probably got in excess of over a stack and a half of bookshelves uh, around here, but we have plenty of bookshelves, so I'd rather have it looking nice than just a, a simple 15 bookshelf going around the square. So, um, and I think that looks quite good. I quite like the way that all those books are piled up there. Uh, we've had to put in a couple of torches just because the top surface of these were about level 7. Um, and I've hidden one around this side as well, but none of these affect the actual enchanting. We get level 30 enchanting on there, so that's pretty good. Um, I've put some of these sea lanterns through, and I've been having to think how I'm going to do these, and I might change them around um, in the rest of the area. Uh, I've put some books up there, I'm not quite sure about that yet, um, and I need to check the light level up there as well. I'll do that in a minute. Um, but that's something to be aware of as well, spawning space possibly. Um, yeah, and I've got the rest of these up sort of ready. Um, really need to sort of um, get that done. And then what I'm thinking of doing up here, because previously I've had two spaced out like that, which I've never really been quite happy about because they kind of go all over the place. And what I was thinking is I might actually have these at the side going down the side and then that means we can probably just have one as a center path going through so it's going to kind of mark a path as it goes through areas we have a center one but the rest can be on the sides then so i think that'll look a little bit better 
So, um, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that, how that's all come together. Um, starting to feel like home. And I say this area here next. Got a bit of a dark spot there, but I think it's okay. Um, yeah, this area I think is possibly going to be uh, potion brewing. And I've got some plans for that. Uh, but we are going to have to sort of utilize the downstairs area, which means a lot of this might have to move from here. So um, not quite sure yet how I'm going to do it and how I'm going to spit it into put it into its um, space. Um, but yeah, I would certainly like a, an area where brewing can happen uh, automatically um, and go into there. So um, we'll have to think about that and plan that out. Yeah, so far I'd better label these portals up while I'm at it. So, um, and this one, which isn't done yet, uh, will be an ice plains, I think. Um, I think that's going to be a fitting one. I was thinking about the nether, um, and that could have been an option, but I think if I was going to go for the nether, then I probably ought to have done the end. And then if you're doing the end, the nether, and the overworld, you're kind of left with one. So I think that works. So we've got a mini ice plains biome, we've got um, mini mesa, we've got the uh, mini plains, and also combined with that, the on a rail portal and also the desert biome portal so it just helps me to um, visualize which part I'm going to but it will also help anyone visiting as well if they know something's in a certain area then um, they can go straight to it and understand where it is uh, and then this one we need to sort out but I think to do that we're probably going to have to build steps down to a central portal or have some kind of drop down with a slime elevator going up or something along those lines. I'm not quite sure yet, but that still needs sorting. So I thought I'd just head back to spawn and I was watching Smithy's video and I wanted to check this out. Um, he's done another level on his tower there, which uh, obviously hasn't quite finished there yet, but uh, we must get rid of the snow now. I think winter's starting to come to an end. Although some of you guys in America I know are, um, yeah, you've still got a lot of snow around, so um, not that good. A bit of a dangerous place now, Spawn. Since we moved all the snow, there's, there's still a number of uh, unlit areas, but um, yeah, he's basically put these huge, oh hello guy, he's put these huge S's on top of his building, um, and I'm guessing it's S for Smithy. Um, and all lit up, you can stay up there. So, uh, yeah, it looks quite good from this side, I think. Um, I quite like, there's that arrow. Still there. Yeah, so I think when we come over from this side, I think that looks quite good. Just not sure about it from, uh, from this other side. So, uh, let's just go and have a, a quick look down here. Yeah, and I heard you, Skelly. You can't hit me. And this is the thing about buildings, you've got to look at it from all different angles. There's quite a lot going on there, but I think that's because of the uh, the haunted house next to it. Um, but yeah, I think he's, uh, he's starting to progress that up, and I've got a feeling, but I think it'd be worth waiting to see, he's going to go even higher with that. So um, yeah, let's just check out on the inside. Okay. Um, yeah, so definitely looks really good from in here. I am very, very tempted, but I won't. <laughs> Maybe I should. Don't know. I'm very tempted just to, um, on the inside, put another layer on there and put T for Trekker going down there in lights. Um, yeah, because it doesn't look like an S. No, it needs to go the other way. So what he really needs to do. If you listen to Smithy, I know you watch my videos, I reckon put another layer with the S going the other way on the inside as well. Uh, it's a bit more work, but then you'll have an S on the inside and an S on the outside. And I think that'll look pretty good. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what he's going to do with the inside of this. So um, yeah, really good though. So uh, I think we'll probably call it a day there now. Um, see how things are going. Actually... Before we do that, can we get up there? How is he getting up? Is he just pushing up? Does he have a way up? He does have a way up. Let's go on up. 
So this was this. Um, this is the bit that went all the way up to the uh, gold farm that Andy made, which uh, yeah, kind of worked. I think it was more to just have zombie pigmen dropping on Smithy's head, but uh, I think the distance it is above um, it doesn't quite work that way. So uh, let's just come out here. Um, so it's actually quite a good view from up here. So I think his view over spawn is going to be really good uh, when he's got that going. Sorry about that. Bit of a server crash there. But um, yeah, as I was saying, it's it's a really good viewpoint, I think, looking over, over spawn and everything there as it comes in. So... Um, yeah, I think that's really cool. It's um, it's going to be certainly a good point to be uh, stood at anyway here, so um, that's for sure. Um, can we make that down there? What do you reckon, guys? Maybe along here a little bit. Hmm, that's probably a bit safer, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, that'll do. Okay, so uh, yeah, as I was saying uh, earlier on, I think we'll uh, probably end the episode here. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, guys. If you have, do click on like. And, uh, yeah, do subscribe if you want to watch more episodes and go and check out my other things. We've got a, a special episode coming up, so watch out for that. And we'll see you soon. My name's Wild Trekker, and bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <sighs> Phew.